tearing this thing down. Um, figure out what's going on with it. Um, hopefully I'm going to be able to do that this week. You know, here and there and everywhere. Um, I got a lot going on, but I really need to get started on. I've had this thing for, I think, for two years. I've, well, I've actually probably had it for a year, but I don't know. Bill would have to tell me when I had it. I've, I've had it for a while. I need to get started on it. Just with my health issues before, I <clears throat> just got me behind. So I'm going to do this. Um, I did uh, I did one Ford truck at work. The, uh, the uh, radiator fans were blowing on high all the time. Um, it ended up being a, uh, it had a restriction in the air conditioning system. Um, ended up replacing the expansion valve and the condenser in it. The uh, high side pressure was was pegged like 350 PSI. Even with the engine not running, it was like, it was making like a check valve. It wouldn't let it flow one way. Well, it was only letting it flow one way. It wasn't let it equalize out. Um, but yeah, this thing, uh, definitely on the chopping block here soon you know this week um got a honda pilot coming into the shop this weekend i want to do uh i'm gonna do a timing belt and water pump and spark plugs you know some maintenance items on it it's got about two hundred thousand on it but uh i know those things will go for a long time so i'm gonna do that um did a video on another ford truck um wasn't anything really to do with the truck. It was our fuel truck for uh, fueling up, you know, off-road equipment, um, you know, back hose and dozers and that sort of thing. But the uh, tank got contaminated with water. Uh, actually, shut a couple machines down. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a this weather missile with me. Um, got a bunch of rust in the system. Shut a, shut three or four of our machines down, which is not good, especially this time of year. You get a lot of we get a lot of water main breaks and stuff. I got to make sure those trucks stay on the road. You know, all that equipment stays on the road. So that's a pretty neat, fun video. I get to use the crane at work and I ride the camera up on the f crane and stuff. It looks kind of like a drone, but um, um, doing the tool stuff. I got to figure out what I'm going to do with those tools. Um, I actually have a toolbox that I'm really thinking about. It's a used, you know, it's an old toolbox, but. I got a toolbox I'm really thinking about getting rid of. I don't know how I'm going to do all that stuff. I mean, I'd like to give it away, but I really can't afford to. So I was thinking about just doing a raffle and, you know, making it a cheap raffle so, you, you know, you guys can afford it. Um, so I'll be working on that. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, got a couple buddies I'm going to be collaborating with, helping them with projects. You know this being one of them here um but yeah just yeah just trying to get you know everything ready um just checking in i want to try and do this probably every tuesday or wednesday check in with everybody let them know what the projects are let them know what i'm getting into um took the weekend off went over to houston woods state park here about an hour from my house it's a beautiful park humongous park um got to goof around on the lake with friends and, you know we not when we were on the lake but we were walking around the lake on the dam and exploring and then um got to get my bow out i haven't shot it in a couple years either I, last time i went out I, I couldn't even pull it my brother had to turn it down for me so i could pull it but uh that was fun i got to shoot that that was nice just just some relaxing time and because i know i gotta hunker down and, and get to work show you guys some stuff um but yeah just stay tuned like i said uh i'm trying to do some more live feeds i'm trying to figure out what the best best day is seems like if i do them like on a night like tonight i really don't get much feedback because everybody's tired from being at work i get it i mean it's yeah i know it's it's rough you know you work all day and you gotta come home take care of the family take care of the house take care of the dogs and cats and you know, chickens, whatever animals you got. Um, but like I said, we're gonna we're gonna hunker down, get some stuff done. I'm excited. 
especially tear this down. I haven't had one of these engines down in quite some time. I ran these in my, my bracket race car, which I've got a video on there from back in like 2003, 2004. This old Fox body. I just ran a like a flat top piston just like this. But uh, this one's got a stroker crank in it. I'm not sure really what one it is yet, but mine were always just stock cranks. I didn't, I couldn't really afford to do a lot of heavy duty stuff. Um, I just hand ported heads and stuff. As a matter of fact, I got it, the heads are over there. I'll try and show you guys maybe in the video when I'm tearing this down how I hand ported them and, you know, all that good jazz. So, but hey, stay tuned and we're going to get out here and fix something, all right?